Hello guys, my name's Alex and in this video I will be giving my first impressions of the soon to be released game The Rack that is currently in its final beta stages of development and is going through its finishing checks by Meta to be available to play through App Lab. So with that said, please take what I say both alongside the gameplay shown in the video with a grain of salt because the game is very much still in development and is improving day by day. So if you haven't guessed already, The Rack is a free to play 8 and 9 ball online experience in virtual reality that bridges the gap between both competitive and casual gameplay. It features realistic cue ball and table physics which gives the players the ability to put their real life pool skills to the test in this incredibly immersive club that was created by the same sole developer that brought us Black Hole Pool. So I've been a fan of Black Hole Pool since I got the quest around 6 months ago and it's been a joy playing the game and meeting new people along the way. Although I love the physics and gameplay of Black Hole Pool it felt that there's been something missing that up until now I couldn't quite put my finger on. I think what Black Hole Pool was lacking at least for me was the feeling of player presence. The rooms felt a touch empty and limited in certain respects. Now it must be noted that the rack was originally going to be an extension of Black Hole Pool, but as the development team didn't want to drastically change the game that players knew and loved, they would create the rack as a standalone to add features that would appeal to a broader audience. So you might be thinking what sets the rack apart from Black Hole Pool exactly. So from the both discussions with staff and playing the game myself, the rack appears to be designed to be a more social experience, whilst adding features that have been somewhat controversial within the Black Hole community when pitched to them. So some of the features include the use of locomotion, and it's essentially being able to freely move around the table. And this feature is like Marmite, people are either going to love it or hate it. Personally, I think it increases the immersion and versatility of the game significantly, and has very few negative effects on gameplay beyond potential trolling. And with that said, once they add the ability to mute and toggle people's visibility, that at the time of recording isn't currently a feature, and that would diminish that concern. Now another feature that's been added is um, realistic player movement. Um, so gone are the days where you have to sort of levitate and clip through the table, meaning that your character now physically leans onto it. Once again, I think it's great for immersion, especially as you're watching other players shooting. They've also added an extensive character customization tool, which allows you to adjust almost all physical aspects of your character's appearance, making it feel really personal to you. Now another big thing that sets it aside from Black Hole Pool is its monetization. So although the monetization is likely to change throughout the stages of development, what we currently know is that the rack is harboring a free to play model in which players who can earn and bet coins on games they play against their opponents. They openly stated that they are taking inspiration from the well known game 8 Ball. Um, sorry, 8 ball pool mini clip game with these coins and they plan to bring out customizable cosmetics alongside different types of cues that excel in certain areas much like in real life. Uh, so for example you might have a breaking cue, a jump shot in cue and these will feature their own statistical ability although it should be noted that this is planned down the line and is still on ongoing um, development. So players will also uh, be able to participate in tournaments as well as best of two matches. Um, each server has four tables and a maximum of eight players. So the server isn't restricted by any boundaries which means whether you fancy playing a few games of pool with strangers and friends alike or just want to sit around and watch others play, it gives you the user more control on how they spend their time in the metaverse. So as you can see, um, features releasing further down the line um, include VIP section. This is essentially an area in which you can play friendly matches against your friends and a store that will sell cosmetic accessories for your character alongside the different queue types that I mentioned earlier. So what I like about the rack personally is that it gives you a reason to log in every day. I mean, if you look at your left wrist here, you can see a number of statistics such as your money in the top left, your current ELO, and which can be earned and deducted through winning and losing matches, your experience and overall player level. This gives people a feeling of progression as they can track their current process within the game. Um, so what I must give credit for is exactly how active the development and admins are within their community. Um, especially on their Discord. They are constantly listening to players' feedback and making tweets accordingly in order to help sort of mould the game into a well-balanced, content-rich and fun-to-play experience. So although the rack is currently only available on the Meta Quest, it certainly looks like it has a bright future as the staff have discussed their plans of bringing the game onto Steam, which will bring Vive, Index and other PC VR users to the game, increasing the population, which is pretty exciting to be fair. Uh, the main concerns I do have with the game, however, is how they implement the monetization. Obviously with it being free to play and the whole betting of coins aspect, um, it's either going to make or break the game ultimately. Personally, I prefer if they took a more cosmetic approach with their business model, uh, but I don't want to pass too much judgment before I see how it works upon release. If it does play like the mini clip 8 
ball pool. Um, it could work well, to be fair. I mean, as you never really felt forced to physically purchase coins on there, and you would sort of naturally obtain them through playing and logging in daily. Another concern with the free-to-play aspect is naturally you will get a lot of kids in the servers um, who will go out of their way to troll. I mean, you only have to look at sort of the likes of Rec Room. Hey, stop the arguing, guys. Um, to see exactly how that works. Um, at the time of recording, like I say, there isn't barriers in place to limit the effects of player trolling, but I have spoke to the developers personally and, um, you know, it, it's very much in development and they're aware of that potential issue. Um, so my main advice to the development team would be to be careful with the monetization. It will ultimately make or break the game. Uh, perhaps consider free to play rooms or a VIP subscription, for example, you know, £5 a month for a certain non to, uh, sorry, certain non pay to win features. Um, if people want cosmetics, keys and other features, I'm sure they'll invest in the game that they enjoy playing. Uh, so to conclude, is the rack worth getting? I would say if you enjoy pool and or socialising, it's definitely worth trying out um, when it releases on App Lab. Um, other than Black Hole Pool, you won't find sort of another pool experience. Um, certainly not in virtual reality with the same innovation um, when it comes to sort of angles and physics. Hey guys, so I hope you've... Um enjoyed the video sort of thing i mean it's uh, like i say it's all first impressions um like i say it's beta release footage so it's still got a long way to go in fairness um but guys show these developers some love they're well i say developers it's literally a sole developer that's done this on his own um absolutely incredible to be honest what they've achieved in such realistically quite a short period of time and um, it really deserves the love and attention guys um what i'll do i'll leave the links to the discord in the description so you can keep up to date um, with the progress of the game and um yeah i'll hopefully um hopefully see you guys in the club thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed